bro. That's all you can say about today. What do we got going on here? I suppose here, this is where we talk about where the trip starts. We're currently in uh, Perth Airport at the moment, doing Bimini twists and setting up fly lines because and let's tomorrow morning, yeah, everywhere. <laughs> let's just say that there may be a fly line spread out here and there may be a fly line spread out there in the airport, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? We gotta be ready. This time tomorrow morning, we will be fishing. Uh, we actually land in Cocos Islands five o'clock tonight. Mm -hmm. And then by the time we transfer and do all the rest of it, you know, it's gonna be a bit late. The fellas do not wanna be setting everything up then. So I'm currently setting up my nine weight stuff, um, which is a full float, and then gonna go to a 12 weight. Hey mate, how are We're you? Totally in the guy's way. You could, this is in the middle of the airport here, but. <laughs> Look at that. Classic. You've done well. You've done well. Classic. That was the last one. Yeah, no, that's alright. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> They're actually lovely. Like, yeah. I'd be like, get out of me. Way. <laughs> yeah. What's the time? We're currently. It's like. Seven, seven in the morning. Um, yeah. The fellas actually may have slept in the disabled. No, it wasn't to say, but it's the it's the um, the kids' room in the kids' change room last night. We actually arrived in Perth at twelve o'clock last night. Found like a kids' change room with carpet and all the rest, of, <laughs> and fully dominated the zone. I mean, there's no one going to be here at twelve at night, so we ended up crashing in there. Sh shut the door, turned the lights off. It was actually like a little private room. Had to sleep, woke up, and now we've got four hours to spare. So we're setting everything up. So we're going to get there tonight or this afternoon and be ready. To go. Gilly. Oh, come on, man. I'm hey. Trying to roll the dart here. It's been like two days. <laughs> Straight on the <laughs> fish whistles. The boys have actually made it two days travel and we've actually turned up. This is a very, very good feeling. I actually don't get too invested in a trip and too excited until I land. Like half an hour ago, the wheels touched down and it was just one of those feelings. It was like, Man, we're actually we're here with the rod tubes are here, bags are here. The scenes flying in. Oh, incredible scenes. Like we actually saw the flats, the guy, Pilot came in, banked over the whole of focus. Sunset. Absolutely magical. We haven't slept much, so the boys are pretty rattled still, but it's just that feeling now of like, let's go unpack, bend the rods, make sure nothing happened to them. It's crazy because it like it's, it's not far, but no. it's just taken us from where we are. So like to get to, yeah, to get to Cocos Islands, there's two flights a week. So to line up those flights with living in Airlie, that's the hardest part. For us to get here, we gotta go early Mackay, which is like an hour and a half drive. And then from Mackay to Br Brizzy. Mm -hmm. Brizzy to Perth. Perth to Christmas Island. Christmas Island to Cocos. So it's a mission, but nothing ever happens that's good. It's like easy, you know, it always is. That's right. I feel like if it's a mission, it's gonna be worth it. So this is a start. Good morning, this is Cooper. He's the guide. He's left his sonnies at home. <laughs> <laughs> and we're chasing bonefish today. We've asked Cooper to get up early. He's, what'd you say, you were six weeks deep? Yeah, we've done six straight. So. Six weeks deep into guiding and we're, we've got him up at five in the morning because myself and Gilly back here, all we want to see is a tailing bone. And so if we can film a tailing bone and catch a tailing bone on kind of sun up, first thing on a, on a week long trip, that's like the dream for a fly fisherman, you know? So here we are, we're wading across the flats, absolutely glamour weather. And um, I have no doubt in probably a half an hour to an hour's time, it's gonna be on. So <clears throat> stick with us. <clears throat> All I wanna do is catch a fish first. We've had a couple days of travel. All I want to do is catch fish, and then I'm going to drop back and just show you guys basically where we are, what we're doing, do the full rundown, because uh, it's going to be a pretty epic week.
That's a pretty good fish, eh? You see that one? Fins out? Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Got a bit going on here. Get away. Oh my. Are you copping that? Oh. Oh, that was horrible. Oh. Tell me you're on that. Oh, he was on it. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. Incredible. Dude. Good fish, dude. That was absolutely insane. All right, we're back. Oh, you incredible fish. Gilly, oh, yeah. we're doing it, brah. Yeah. That's a great fish to start off with here. Yeah. Brah. That as a first bone. <laughs> After a couple of days travel, waking up at five in the morning, watching this guy tail, so then putting a fly in front of him. Doesn't get much better than that as a start, hey. That is honestly is all you can ask for. That is all you can ask for. <laughs> and as a first fish, hard for you guys to see we're trying to get a shot of it but basically a kilometer into the distance here there'd just be a hundred plus tails just glistening in the sunlight so the idea is we come in ultra shallow we're going to walk the sand and then kind of come in on the big ones but i've never ever seen that in my life like as someone who does a lot of sight casting to see that many tails in the sunlight Wow. I kind of, there's one that's just that one on the right there, this thing. Yeah. Well, there's one just here. See him? I just don't want to shoot over the top of him. That other one's oh he's coming in this other one's coming in too oh my gosh um i think this guy's bigger keep coming keep coming keep coming that's good about about there he's on that yeah Tick, 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 hey. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we watch those three fish then just never really get rare. It's so rare. I mean, you get to watch a fish. You get to just like watch him do his thing and take a second to appreciate it like that oh man such skinny water too so, it's like, like it's, yes. it's angle day water <laughs> but he's too big to fit under the water yeah he's touching yeah but when his peg fins are on the bottom his dorsal's out 
god, that's dude, that's a <laughs> that's so big. Day one. And we're watching these things, filming them to the point where we can just come in and stalk them and just appreciate it for what it is. Like that's absolutely epic. You guys are probably just seeing chrome because of how shiny they are, but that's a bad time to All right, buddy. You've done me an absolute solid. So, it's just different, man. It's been nine years since I've targeted bones. Last time I did it was at CXI. And it was good, but it, like this is just as different, hey? This is like crazy. And you stand up. You know, like that was a big tail we spotted that there was three of them just side by side. And I stand up and as I'm standing up, I just see tails glistening in the light. And the fellas are going to work here. <laughs> I could fish coming in slightly left. I'll be patient with him because he's not bad at all. This guy, is that still him? No. Yeah. Just behind those fish. Oh yeah. And to the right a little bit. How much different is as well, like when there's a bit of a ripple on the surface, how much better you can see, see shadows? Yeah. That's uh definitely a target acquired. Oh, oh that was that was a tank. He's coming, coming, coming. Come on, he likes that dust. He's good, man. Tailed on. That was epic, bro. That's a good one. Yeah, he's not bad. He kind of accidentally spooked one and it made that dust cloud and he came in on it. It was like the perfect setup. Jeez, that's a lot of pressure, hey, for them to do yeah. that. Are they? Yep. Really? Yep. Yeah. That's <laughs> getting there, hey. Yeah, he's a cracker. Should be like four and a half, five probably. Alright, we're just we've literally gone, I think it's four bones now, and they're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Tide's coming in slightly. And uh these bigger guys are pushing up super shallow. And you just, you, like he was still tailing, you know, it's a little bit deeper, it's gone from ankle to calf and he was still tailing. The bars on him. I'm really into this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a big fish, hey. He's, so he's going, basically he's an arm, he's a full arm. Yeah, probably 60, it'd be four or five pound. Got him! Yeah. He was like... <laughs> eight foot away from me, man. Oh, that's the backing. <laughs> Come here. 
That's definitely the biggest one I've caught this morning. He's a tank. All way until I got the power. Yeah, sick. He's a giant. Oh. He's huge, man. He's big. I didn't think he was that big. Yeah. He's a good Wow, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, he is really having a go, this fella. Oh, oh. Oh! oh. Gilly! <laughs> oh my god! Gilly! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Whoa, man. That's, <sighs> that's, that's what we wanted. Far around, dude. <laughs> what? Oh. Like at the rod tip. This is. Well, there you this go. Is, hold on, hold on. Boston Absolute bro. horse of a bone. It's like the fourth one for the morning. What is it? 7.45? And hey, I'll take that. That's a... They're a, not... A dream. <laughs> like that is a world-class bone in what? 300 mil of water? Before we were fishing in ankle deep. Tried a little deeper. Look at that. Well, it was a morning session. How big was yours, we're saying? Seven? Uh, seven what was it? 7.6, did you say? Seven yeah, seven and a half. Seven, seven and, and a half pound fish for Gilly, first thing in the morning. Day one. one. Uh, a couple of really, really good fish there. We honestly asked Coops to put us on to tailing bones, and the man delivered. <laughs> he definitely, definitely delivered. In the first minute. Yeah. <laughs> and. and uh, so the, I think one of the greatest things about this place is obviously for us, we don't know too much about it, but we know it's small and accessible. We've got this cloud that's just rolled in. So he's just gone, you know what? Let's go to the shore break and go and find some fish that are rolling onto the actual surf itself. So we've rolled in, Rod's in the car, gonna have some lunch, have a drink, and then just completely different scene, completely different fish. Yeah, and what are we? Probably nine o'clock? Yeah, on the dot. <sighs> <laughs> That's uh, epic, man. That is so life's cool. Good, eh? Life's good, fishing's good. That cloud can stay that side, we'll go that side and just keep going. Alright, hopefully that wind isn't punching too hard through this little hole, but that, the boys reckon, is like a gateway to heaven. In front of us here, we've got a total beach, and um, they've they already started walking up ahead of me. We're going to basically walk along here, and bones, they say, get washed up onto this beach, and we're going to be chasing them in like a couple inches of water, so... You know, all they're doing is leaving it up to them. Total open mind about the first day second day and third day just anything they say we're gonna do we're just we're all in we just want the full experience and um, look I've got the sand between my feet fly rod in hand backpack on let's go
Oh my gosh. Oh, just here. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh my gosh! Gilly, 20, 30 meters, two step. Oh, Three. he's big. Oh, that's a big, big bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is up there with the coolest thing I've ever done. Beach bones rolling up on the surf, just charging the sand. Hopefully you guys could see that. There was like four or five fish, literally in, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 mil of water. And Gilly's chasing the others behind me. But, <laughs> not many places in the world you get to do that. That's for sure. Perfect. I don't think you could get a more, would the word be diverse? Like from beach to, to a full blown jungle. Yeah. yeah. Like, you've got the beach 20 meters there and you've got an absolute hectic jungle of falling death. Luckily, Probably wouldn't set up a swag here anyway. No, nah, you wouldn't like, you know it'd be funny when it really rained hard you still wouldn't stand under the trees. No. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, that's it. Wigged me out a bit though. It's been okay down. Okay. This it's one's for Strick. Coconut Lord, eh? Oh. <laughs> and Azza. I'm probably, I'm grabbing them and Strick's probably going, mate, that's the worst coconut ever to grab. I don't know if it's green enough. That one there looks juicy. Yeah. Is he a good one? But it's real hectic. You... He feels not bad. It's hectic. Oh, yeah, you're grabbing cool. him. You're grabbing him under the know, yeah. <laughs> under the <laughs> other ones. This guy's got to come along. Good set of coconuts. Love a good set of coconuts. Yeah. Well done. Miss you, Dal. <laughs>
That's a big fish, eh? Straight on the crab, man. Wow. <laughs> this, this possible PV here, bruh. Straight on the crabby, eh? I'm into that. I did not expect him to, uh, oh no. He's good fish. Oh. Are we doubled up here, Andrew? Hey, man, that's epic, mate. Double, double. Putting that fucking hard work on it. Oh, Andrew's <laughs> Andrew's going in the abyss. I got 20, but he hasn't run yet. Nice, man. Alright, pro spoil me so I can net his fish with yours. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming with you. You got leader. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding? <laughs> that was chaos, man. Look at the size of these things. Those things, man. There's not many places in the world you can see two bones. That, that size. I'm gonna get. Um, this is a big net. This is guide life. Things. If you can, <laughs> double hand. And I'm just gonna film because they might kick out, but I'll, I'll hold them there. Oh, dude, they're massive. Oh, oh. that's the biggest one anyway. Look at that fish. Oof. Man, release. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, holy dude. I Is didn't. It? That's they're just massive here. Yeah, right? just... It's a big old bony, eh? I might just come to you for a quick shot. You got any snapper leads in there? <laughs> so put a little snapper lead in for me. Yep, talk to me. Not bad. Look, I'm just taking him in. Look at that. You're not looking too bad hey, there. It's not bad looking at all. <laughs> well, um, I'd say that calls it for the fellas. We actually had Cooper come and pick us up in a Mav. 
Means we didn't have to walk back, which is just huge. Uber. Huge. We're not paying you though, no tip, no way. <laughs> <laughs> um, not sure what's going on this afternoon. We're definitely gonna have a couple of beers. Big plans tomorrow. We're gonna go chase the elusive bumpies. Gilly is gonna be first shot getting in there because um, the man is on fire. And what else? Don't know. We're gonna beers. We're gonna definitely beers. Have a definite beers this afternoon. Talk about a bit of a game plan tomorrow, but we want to go for the variety. You know, we had the full experience today with the bones waiting the flats, and we caught heaps. You know, you guys probably only only going to see a very very small portion of how many fish we caught. Um, but tomorrow is going to be variety. We're going to take spin rods out with us. We're going to chase yellowfin, dogtooth. We're going to do fly rods. We're going to do bumpies. But it should be an epic day. If we can nail tomorrow, that'll be all time. And then it's just kind of like, I think we've got two days left after that. Yeah. To do surf GTs and just random stuff. Like we, we're going for the full full experience here. So far, we've abs today was as good as it gets. That's it. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Should be out in a couple of days time.